Hey, yeah, 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 hey, oh, hey, totem pole, hey, yeah, we have a family strategy game for ya, hey, yeah, with totem pole, totem, the game, not to be confused with the cool game called Tiki Topple, which is also cool. Let the spirits guide your totems to victory. Let your spirits guide you across the game board to use the potent spirit symbols to change gameplay or even halt the other players. Yay! Use the spirits, hey, to be the first player, hey, to move all your pawns across the game board and win. Hi, and if y'all think it's discriminatory that I'm doing Native American spirit singing, dancing. Well, I have Native American blood in me a lot more than Elizabeth Warren does anyway. So, hey, uh, I should be allowed. Besides, freedom of speech and stuff. Uh, isn't that a cool bird? Hey, oh, oh, so here's all the different kinds of groups you have. You have the uh, horse, horse, of course, it's a horse. Unless a horse is a horse, of course, unless the horse is Mr. Ed. Then you have a turkey bird. And if um, Benjamin Franklin had his way, the turkey would be the national bird of the eagle. Then it's here another bird. It's like, I guess this is an eagle. Maybe a hawk. Then you have the deer, or Vincent. And Vincent. Then you have these various different totems. You got red ones. Hey, oh, hey, oh. These are nice, actually. These are pretty nice wood. You got red. You got green. And then you got orange ones. You had blue ones. My problem is these totems kind of look like cowboys. I then again, this is an Indian game. Anyway, then you have the rules. And you got them in different languages. So it pretty much shows you pictures of your four teams, four symbol tiles, pictures of the start space, move in, and then uh, instructions. And then here's it in like uh, French, I think. <coughs> because, you know, in Canada, Canada, in like Canada and stuff, Canada, 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 in oh, Canada, oh, Canada. So it looks to me like each player gets to pick. And they put their tokens on, like, they put their four here. Like, this is green, that's yellow, that's blue, and that's red. So you'd put your four tokens there. And, uh...
youngest player goes. On your turn, move one of your totem pieces in a straight line in whichever direction you want. You can't move diagonally. As many steps as you want until the totem piece comes across the piece. With the same symbol as an open symbol tail or another totem piece. So you can go. Changing the symbol on your turn, you can also choose to move your token piece to a special space. If you stop your token piece in a special space, you have to choose a new symbol tail at the end of your turn. Okay, so whatever, so these symbol tails, they basically will be switching hands. Um, if you land on a uh, finish line. Once you've moved your totem piece across the game board to the last row on the opponent's side from you, that piece has reached the finish line. You cannot move this totem piece again. So you basically try to get your totems to the other side of the board. And you basically can move your totem as far like okay, say this for example is just and your your blue, right? Say this is your blue. You can do as many deer. You can go as far as many deer. But so if there's no other deer, you'd be like, stop. But say say there was a you could go as far up to another deer. I think that's what it's talking about. But if you don't have a deer, you can't go. So, like, it's saying you can't go diagonally. So, you could go one space and go either forward, backwards, left, or right. But you can't, and you gotta go to the next, whatever your space is. So, like, boom. Or if it was, or boom, you know. And then if you choose instead, like, stop at one of these special spaces, you trade this in for a new totem. Like, now you get red. Or green. Or yellow. So you would switch totems. So every once in a while, these are switching spaces. Hands, you know, players are switching these. And that's pretty much how the game goes. I believe so. So you're trying to get your four men totems to the other side of the game. And they're trying to get their four totem men to your side. And whoever gets their four totem men to the, your, the other side first wins the totem war game. So, and... Uh, it's the pretty simple, straightforward, easy to play, easy to understand, easy game, but probably not as easy to win. It's a game by Tactic Games, seven and up. Of course, two to four players, but you probably have to have either two or four players. I don't. Games like this kind of don't work very well with three players because there's like no way for the third player to you know, do it, but to get to the other side. Remember guys, good. All the time. All the time guys, good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Jesus Lord. Jesus King. Jesus rule of everything. Have a very wonderful day. Uh, comment down below if you have any Native American blood in you. And comment down below if uh, you've ever made, built, or seen a totem pole or any of that kind of stuff. And like if you know any of that stuff like what your spirit animal is or whatever 
You never had like a dream woke, you know. You never had to do any of that Native American stuff. Or you know any of that Native American stuff. You have Native American friends, relatives, blood, whatever. I'd love to hear about it. Comment down below. And, uh, I work with a real Indian at work. <laughs> He's from India, India. The only reason why Indians were first called Indians was because they thought they had hit India. They actually thought they had gone around the world, but they didn't. Instead, they found a new continent. Fun fact! Because you didn't know that. That's why the Native Americans were called Indians. Another fun fact. China discovered America before Christopher Columbus did. The continent of America. Another fun fact. Another fun fact. The Vikings, or the Norse people, also discovered the United States before Christopher Columbus. Also, another fun fact. There's a bunch of stuff they don't teach you in schools. And the Lois and Clark Expedition discovered a lot more stuff about Native Americans than they actually teach you in schools. There's some hidden and suppressed history about some ancient Native American cultures and stuff. There's more than just the Aztecs, Incans, and Mayans. Yeah. Look it up. Research. Discover. Uh, so there's some cool fun facts. The French and Indian Wars. Another fun fact. Uh, contrary to popular opinion, not all Native Americans were peace-loving people. A lot of them were warrior fighters that actually attacked us and we attacked them they attacked us so there wasn't no there was animosity on both sides both sides didn't like each other the wars it, it, yeah I know some of the white people probably brought diseases some Native Americans probably gave us some diseases and vice versa Not saying the best side won or the worst side won, but uh, the white man won, and that's how things work in war. All's fair and love in war. But the Native Americans are still cool people. And I'm going to let the video keep playing until it runs out of time.